the hunt continues for the lions. Right, good morning from choir camp. We are packed up and ready to make our way across to Savuti today. Um, yeah, we've had a really, really good time here. Beautiful, um, I guess, reserve along the river with lots of game on that river. But it's now time to move on to Savuti. Never been there before, so that's gonna be another first. We've got two nights uh, in Savuti. It's about a hundred kilometers of interesting uh, driving from what we hear. Uh, combinations of you either take the marsh road or you take the sandy road. So yeah, we'll see what, uh, what the sand road looks like when we get there and if it's you know too sandy we may just uh, opt for the marsh option um, but looking forward to the journey and looking forward to setting up camp again this afternoon in a in a new location so yeah hopefully we see a couple of things along the way we we haven't seen any of the cats yet although as we got back from our sunset drive last night um, there was an English couple who passed by our campsite and showed us a picture of a leopard um, and they'd taken that picture literally must have been about an hour after we left camp to go on our sunset drive and that leopard literally just strolled straight past the campsite past the front of the tent so yeah if we had had our sundowners in camp we probably would have seen the leopard pass by but that's how it goes uh, we haven't seen we haven't seen her she's apparently a resident leopard here so there's been a couple of sightings over the last few days but um, yeah we'll we'll keep our eyes peeled and we're still on the lookout for those lions I think Savuti I've got a good feeling that Savuti is where we're gonna see them so let's get there and let's see what we can find and I'm sure the journey to that camp is going to be interesting as well so yeah another full day ahead Let's see how we go. Can you go see? Hurry up. 
Well, that was pretty exciting to see. Um, we're just driving along the sort of main dirt road here and we came across the leftovers of a, a buffalo kill. It looks to be, I don't know, a day or two old. Uh, one or two hyenas in the area, but definitely a couple of blackback jackal there just feeding on the scraps that are left over. And then, yeah, literally a couple of hundred meters further up, um, a pack of wild dog, which is really, really special to see. One of my favorites, love seeing the wild dog. Uh, we didn't have too much time with them. They were, they looked, yeah, I mean, they looked pretty, pretty excited. So I don't know if they're on a hunt still, um, but they were just running down the road and then they darted off into the bush and we lost sight of them. But yeah, amazing what you see just on a normal dirt road, not even, uh, in any sort of game park here at the moment but um yeah really really good oh baby i love your madness it's so incredibly beautiful oh you shine like gold so selfless to all and while i get Okay, we've just entered the Chobe National Park. Um, we are going to make our way now to the Sabuti camp. Um, we had two, two roads to take. One is the Sand Ridge Road, which is apparently quite obviously sandy and uh, quite hard riding, um, getting through all of that sand. The other option is the Marsh Road, which I guess in the wet season is quite swampy. Um, and you risk getting stuck. Given the weather at the moment, given some of the, I guess, feedback that we've received from one or two people who've been down the marsh road, um, they're reckoning that, yeah, you, you, you're definitely going to see more and it's pretty dry. So that's what we're hoping for. We hope, we, you know, nobody gets bogged down. But that's also part of the adventure, I guess. So, yeah, we've got about 60 kilometers from uh, the Mabapi gate through to Sabuti camp and I'm pretty certain it's gonna open up soon and we're gonna see amazing wildlife so let's see what we can find along the route
giraffe on the front. Warthog. So far so good, this short little section uh, in the marshland has yielded lots and lots of plains game for us. We've seen uh, buffalo, wildebeest, lots of giraffe, some zebra, some sesame, warthog. Although tricky to see because they were lying under the shade of an acacia tree, we were lucky to come across this pair of cheetah on our way to Savuti camp. Guys, if you come forward to here, you can see both heads. But Larry, I honestly don't know how you saw that. Yeah, Steph, you should be able to see both of them now. Yeah, I do. Thank you. Those zebra, they're very nervous. Disturbing this elephant at a water hole on the side of the road, we all stopped to take a leg stretch. When all of a sudden, out of nowhere, another elephant walked past our cars as we were standing around and made his way to the same water hole. We stood watching silently as he drank and cooled himself, literally 10 meters away from where we were, before breathing a sigh of relief and awe at the whole experience. Please um, give us intel of what's happening ahead. We're going to have to go left here. We 
we're quite close to camp now, probably about four or five kilometers away. Um, time is just before 2.30. So yeah, it's been a long, it's been a long drive, but a good one. We've seen lots of animals today. Quite sandy in patches, lots of deep sand to get through, but yeah, everybody's managed without incident, which is great. And I'm um, looking forward to a cold beer and something to eat for lunch now um, before we go and make our way into camp. Right, we've made it to Savuti camp. We've just checked in at the front desk. The good news is that the lions were spotted in camp, around about campsite number four. The bad news is we're campsite number four. So we'll see how interesting tonight gets. I'm sure we're gonna see those lions. I think it's all good news to be honest. Right, good morning from the plains of Savuti. We are on our morning game drive. We had a really good evening last night. Um, got into camp probably late afternoon-ish. Uh, set up tent. And then, yeah, pretty much just chilled. Um, had a good bry and a good evening with everybody. Um, we didn't see any lion in the camp, but we definitely heard them. And Karen and I heard, I'm not sure what it was because the moon hadn't fully risen yet, so it was pretty dark. Um, but either elephant or, or buffalo kind of just moving past the bottom section of our tent, maybe 10 meters away from our tent in the riverbed, which was pretty special. But also, yeah, um, being so dark and not knowing what was moving out there was uh, tested the nerves a little bit, but yeah, great experience. And today is all about um, just spending some time here in the in the Savuti area. We're gonna check out all the the little loops um, and see what we can find. And yeah, generally just have a, a full day's game viewing. Um, so let's see what we can find for today.
Very cool. The hunt continues for the lions. 